Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <sighs> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, and you might have heard that little story of Mimir that kind of confirmed my suspicions that Freya, I think in, in mythology that's the same case, Freya is the wife of Odin. So the Frigg, I think her name was, Goddess, we've... Uh, heard talk about in um, the, the, the there was a text tablet right next to uh, the witch's house that talked about this as well I was talking about um, Frigg and I think she was the wife of Odin as well so Frigg and Freya are the same person and there we have another uh, tear there we go so that increases our strength by two permanently great that's a, a nice start of the episode so this is where we need to go so I'm gonna see where we can board, well, dock everywhere. So starting with this little area over here. There we go. There's a giant frozen statue over here. And nightmares. Right Level five nightmares apparently. More in there. And that's it. There we go. In the face again. He was trying to fire at me, the bastard. Okay, so this is one. Did I light the braziers on this one? Yeah, so that's the one we're actually currently at. So not a big problem there. There is this big statue over here. And another portal. This doesn't do anything. Hmm. Seems like a big guy we should be able to fight, but apparently he doesn't seem to be in the mood. Let's head up here. And I hear the hammering of uh, a blacksmith already, so it might as well be Brock or Sindri. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Ooh, second favors from you Sindri. You remember the dagger you gave me? Yes. The dagger stabbed into the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <sighs> <laughs> kind of making his way like that. So, Nortry Entry Stone. Another okay. treasure hunt. Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. Oh, he did. Okay. Where does all this lead? Uh. Ah, okay. Items over here. Hacksilver. Can I do anything with the, the statue? Doesn't seem like it. Aha! I knew there must have been something. Oh wow. That's further away than I anticipated. Like that? Oh god. No. Nope. 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 I'm clearly not close enough to even hit that thing. How far is that thing? I can hit it over there, but 
Nope, nope, this is not gonna work. Okay, going back down. And by down, of course I mean up, because I'm an idiot. So, let's keep going over... Oh, there we go, there we go. No, no, on the left. Yeah, and then jump. There we go. Good job, Kratos, good job. And if we're lucky, the Nortri Fortress is actually right here, because... There must have been a reason for them to put Sindri right at the entrance over here. Ooh. This place looks a bit creepy, but let's see. There's a big door. A big door that I can open. So don't mind if I do. And which magically closes behind me again. Council of Valkyries. That does not sound good. Because the Valkyries were fearsome warriors. And I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna die. This doesn't sound good. Council of Valkyries. And I've known from looking at the trophy list that there is actually a trophy for killing all nine Valkyries. Uh, and I can't help but notice that there are nine thrones in this area. What is this place? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. Okay. Seems like it's really quiet at the moment. What if I approach one of the no? Approaching the thrones doesn't really do anything. So I might be here too soon, I suppose. Let's head, uh, head back. Oh, there's a little side area over here. Atreus, to me! Okay, ah. Coming. So that's again one of those things that I can't really explode at the moment. And that's not an exploding barrel, so yeah. Kind of fucked on that accord, so I'm guessing that Atreus will get the ability later on to shoot some kind of explosives. Because uh, that would be awesome, by the way. Suddenly have explosives, er explosive arrows at, at our disposal as well. But moving back, so the Council of Valkyries, but that's about it on this side. Seems like there's a bit of an area over here as well. Yeah, looks like it. The stuff we can explode with the electric arrows. There we go. And we're moving on up. And I think that one is one of those that I couldn't access before. Okay, and another realm there, so that might mean we're fucked. Because I've seen a lot of those be very, very difficult lately. A what? A, a what now? Are, are you serious? Yeah, we're gonna definitely die here. Yep, okay. Whoa, okay, those frost waves are not to be tampered with. Come on, once it starts spawning them. There goes one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, he's weakened, he's weakened, he's weakened. I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay, now I just need to kill this guy. Okay, 
You can do that all day long, buddy. There we go. Come on, Atreus. Keep him in check. Oh my god. There we go. They look like they walked straight out of hell. Yeah, probably that's why they're called hell walkers. Smart ass. There we go. Pull out whatever's in there. Ka ching. Dust of Realms, which is really, really crappy. And 2,500 hex silver and a bunch of experience. That's at least it's something. Because that was one hell of a fight. I do hear growling up here. Hmm. Let's open that up. What the hell? Okay. I always wonder what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? What? Fafnir's storeroom, Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri what? said he was a dwarf. He was, and now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? Are Stand you up. kidding me? Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. He looks awesome. He's like a death metal dragon. There we go. So that's, um, I think, the rest of the episode. Let's go find uh, out how we can free this dragon. This looks really, really cool. Second, well, third dragon of the game, actually. Is, but the second one we might be able to free. So, moving on. So right next to the door we uh, came into, we have a bit of hack silver. This does not seem to be openable, but there's another one of those uh, dragon shrines over there. So there's one inside of this area. Okay, halt. Then, so it seems like the only way is down for now, because this is also open from the other side. So let's take a look. I mean, Fafnir does not look happy. Oh god. Ow! I think those poor bastards just got um, fried. Seems like we're uh, okay for now. We can get up there, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Kratos, move! Okay, there we go. Heading up. And this is supposed to be the other side of that first dragon shrine then. Yeah. What the hell is that? Um. Oh gold. What the hell is this guy? I'm scared of even doing anything. So he's armored. Ooh. Okay. So there's another guy. Wait. Oh wow. Yeah, couldn't get out of the attack. That was a bit of my mistake. Ooh, ow, thanks. So you can't seem to... Oh wow. Okay. So, sideways dodging. And slams, and then get out of the way. You can block that. Yeah, hold on the way to that, and then back to focusing on this guy. Okay. Whew. Okay, got the health stone. Uh, there's nothing. Kind of blocked that just in time. Is he weak to stunning or something? He can get distracted. Yeah, there we go, and I think this guy will explode. Yeah, there we go, so that gives me a bit of extra damage as well. Ooh, Jesus Christ, come on. Yeah, his armor is all... Oh god, don't get too caught up in this. Jesus. There we go. Holy crap! A traveler travels end. 
Kill travelers, encounter more of these heavily armored swordsmen by thoroughly exploring the lands you traverse. Consult the best area for tips on defeating them. A traveler, they wear really strong armor, have huge swords and are one of the toughest enemies we faced. Who are they and what do they want with us? Mom never mentioned to travelers, I hope we don't have to fight too many of them. That was cool, that was a new type of enemy. I really like when that happens. Gives us a bit of uh, a bit of a challenge. Gives us a bit of a new way of playing. Hey, what's what's what this? Servo shard to the dwarves. Ooh, traveler's armor shard. The road less traveled. Travelers are some of the most powerful and well armored enemies we fought on our journey. The last one we fought left behind a shard of the armor. I would bet Brock or Sindri could use this to craft an armor set for us. In fact, I bet they could build one that's even stronger than the armor the travelers themselves wear. Okay, sounds awesome, but we need to destroy this thing. There we go. First dragon shrine destroyed. Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scroat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. Wait, but does that mean that the other dragons we've seen were also people or dwarves before? That seems a bit uh, harsh. Thank you for destroying that pot. Can we actually take sides here or... Because there's another dragon shrine on the left. If I go over here, does he focus his breath in that direction? No, no, no. Okay, come on. Let's do this because I'm uh, a bit in a bad position here. And then the one in the back there, so he doesn't come back. There we go. That was good, right? You are more focused. So I'm just gonna grab this. And then roll out of the way again. Okay. So it seems like we have a straight shot to the next dragon shrine. That was a bit too high, but let's just smash it to smithereens. Never answered the boy's question, Ed. How did this dwarf become a dragon? Well, I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess. Wait, you said goddess specifically, as if he knows it's a female god. World Serpent Scale, okay. So that means, I think. Mimir must know more than he's letting on. Seems like a, like a friendly little dragon. Hello there. Do you have... No, I can't probably destroy anything on his collar. But where is the last... Yeah, stop attacking me if you want me to free you. A dumbass dragon. Oh, wait. There's a side area over here. In the face. And then like this. Bam! Goodbye. Okay, so this is the last one. It seems like this area is a bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. There we go. Time to set him free. We turn to the anchor. Think he'll remember you? I don't know, lad. A lot's changed since we last crossed paths. I had legs. It, yeah, but I mean that only happened recently, so that's not saying much. Because you had legs in the tree. What's this? Boy. Maybe more information. There we go, pulse. This is good to know. It is. Then please share, because I would love to know what you read there, boy. Come on, give me. New lore marker found. If you're reading this, go away. You don't belong here. This is my ravine. And don't touch any of my stuff on your way out. You're still here. I told you to leave. These are my treasures, and you can't have them. The best stuff is in my storeroom anyways, but don't even think about going there. That place is well guarded, I made sure of that. Just leave me be, I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Certainly not any of Ivaldi's stupid sons warning me about the dangers of greed. I only need look in my newly acquired Vanier mirror to see what it does to my skin, but I don't care. My treasure makes me feel safe and it warms me from the inside, like the breath of a dragon. Get lost. 
Fafnir. So he must have stolen, yeah, the Vanir mirror must have been the, the item that turned him into a dragon. Uh, and then we have another chest over here. Let's not waste anything inside of that. We can always use anything we come across. More solid Swart of Heimsteel and World Serpent Scales. So let's pop this bad boy open as well. And go back down. Let's free another dragon. Our second dragon. And I think there were three. According to the... Oh god. Probably not that way. Probably should go... Um, oh god. What the hell. Um, dragon? 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 Jesus. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh god. You know what? Can they come over here? Come on. Dragon? Oh, I was hoping the dragon would do its center breath. So this guy is almost down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So he's gonna get shocked in a second. So that's one down. So I'm just gonna block. For fuck's sake. I think there was another health stone over here, yeah. There we go. There we go, block that. I think I'm gonna go to her first, because she's being... Come on. Jesus. So I'm just gonna get this going. Oh god. That was not what I wanted to do. Come on, come on, come on. Wolves! Wolves! Come on. We're almost dead, but we always almost have him as well. No, 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 no. Boom! Come on, come on, come on. Just get him down. I'm just gonna charge. There we go. Okay, that was fight. pretty close and a tough fight indeed. But um, I'm guessing now we'll be able to to uh, get the dragon out of its uh, predicament over there. Okay, wow, that was on the uh, the edge of a knife there. But we did get out on top in the first attempt. No, 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 no. What? what? Come on, come on, dragon. Why? I'm just here to help. I'm just gonna open that up, lady. Yes, Yes, stab the mask. I just wanna gonna get out of the way. There we go. There we go. Stab. Okay, it's taking a while again. There we go. My Fafnir. There you go, you wee little bugger. Wow, he has an amazing design, by the way. Those glowing wings in the sunlight, that is amazing. Well, the dragon hasn't done much for his personality. That is awesome. Brilliant scale of the chain. I don't know why I pronounced that so weirdly, but moderate perk activation chance. Okay. Chance to grant a blessing of runic when using a runic attack. Which is fitting, but there we go. Dragon favor complete. The flight of Fafnir. We got another dragon tier. There we go. Dragons freed two out of three. 
Interesting, so there's one more dragon left. This wasn't too big of an area. Nothing compared to Fighter Guard, but uh, a bit more hack silver. I would really like a bit of a health stone some, sometime soon. But um, yeah, let's get out of here. I mean, I've seen every side area, I think, so we should be fine. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That was anticlimactic. But there we go. Wouldn't want to miss that 10 hex silver now, would we? So let's get out and uh, see what else we can find. Because last time we uh, dropped the water level around the lake. And um, this is only the first of the side areas we could uh, explore. And since last time we did an exploration exploratory tour of the lake, I was a bit late on that account. So I got some stuff that I uh, really only should have gotten later on. Hey, what's that? There we go. Didn't see that the first time around, so let's drop down through the fishies. And then there's another chest. Ooh, another stabby chest. Those poor masks. They haven't done anything wrong, did they? Hey, it's a fragment of a language. Ooh. We should look for more like this. Niflheim cipher. Yeah, that is cool. So one out of four of the Niflheim ciphers. Okay, great. I'm just gonna continue uh, on my tour then. So I've been away this uh, this this past week, and uh, I've actually went to Sweden on a bit of a holiday, and this is exactly what I did there. I uh, I, I we were uh, camping right next to a lake, and we were canoeing all over Can't the place. Odin and Frey were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanir raged, he could see what he really wanted in his cluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly... Despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Okay, so that was some interesting backstory. I just arrived at this, uh, this island here, but... And there's a very, very terrifying drug over there. Buri's storeroom. Wait. Is this another storeroom linked to one of the side quests? Just gonna leave the Draugr over there for now. Don't want to annoy anything. So this... Right. Okay. So this is the gate towards a uh, fighter guard, which is now, of course, lowered. Holy crap. Yeah, level six, dudes. I think I might actually have this. Oh god, or not, or not. Okay. I'm doing it now. And one, two, three. Oh, what? So that's it then. What the hell just happened? I just died. So, new tactic. I'm just gonna try and lure them in one by one. If I can weaken them before they actually get to me, that's gonna be a okay. I'm just hoping the one on the right doesn't come down now. Okay, so I got the purple one out of the way. And I think I can actually... Oh god. And there goes the other one. And now I can actually juggle this guy. 
Oh, wow. So he's turning around. Oh, so that actually goes in waves. Like the, uh, the Revenant attack. There we go. Okay. So that's guy taken out. But now, of course, we still have the guy upstairs. I think because he's... We didn't get the experience like we usually do after a fight, so... Oh god. But he seems like a normal... Source fighter. Okay. So let's get him up. Okay, that's even better. I just tossed him over the railing and he died from that. They were really tough, so I'm just hoping I get a nice reward out of this. Um, what's that noise? There's like a mild grumbling in the background. Uh, I can't access that just yet. I need to explode something on the other side. And then we have these bells. And then the N, oh, so the R goes away immediately, of course, because he's on the ground, which makes sense. The, uh, the tone wouldn't be held that long. So we need to get this gate down somehow. And I need to kill that raven, so give me a second. Oh, there we go. Finally. Jesus, that took me a while. That was an annoying shot. Um, so, that up there is where we found our first spirit. So that is supposedly where we can... Yeah, because we had that area over there that was stuck down with those uh, electrified bombs. So that's cool. But we can't really do anything there just yet. But... What else is there? Because I feel like I would first need to get the upgrade that allows me to shoot those branches. Although, wait, wait. There we go. That's something. Because closing the gate now wouldn't really help me out now, would it? So. I can go around here and I'll pull this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So I need to stop. And create an opening like that, so now we can get through the water over there. Okay, fair enough. Then we have this gate. So if I just drop this down, that does that. But now I can't reach the other bells. But I could if I had a boat here. But I don't. That's kept me a boat. Okay. Obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Yeah, because Mimir actually did arrange the marriage. So I put the boat, I turned the boat around, so now we should be able to... Just pull down the gate and I'll turn the boat back around, so I'll see you guys in a second. It's actually interesting, now that I've done uh, my fair share of paddling last week, it's weird that Kratos holds his paddle like that, because I would personally, personally just put his hand, his other hand, so in this case his right hand a bit lower, 
because you're actually pushing with the top hand and it doesn't look like he's actually doing that but all that aside let's open up this gate so N C and R that opens up the gate it's a gate not ooh Oh yeah, right, this was a, a storeroom. Beauty's storeroom? Beauty's storeroom? Well, we'll see, because there's a few chests around here, which is nice. Let's open that up. And see what we can get out of this. A heavy runic attack. Glaive storm. Throw the Leviathan axe towards any nearby targets, automatically seeking out, hitting and inflicting frost damage to any enemies caught in its path. That sounds cool. Holy crap. I'm gonna equip that. That looks really, really cool. And I'm gonna equip that. And then upgrade it. There we go. So 87 seconds in cooldown, which is quite a bit. But it is a pretty cool attack. And then... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep the lines for now. Which, what is this? Because this is dark. Okay. So there's another chest down here with just some hack silver yeah well not just a bit it's 3000 hack silver which is uh quite the penny and then over here of course the most important thing first bolts and then open this up and then we get another 3000 hack silver and a world serpent snake snake no world serpent scale out of that yeah okay so that's that and now I'm wondering if I should... I'm just going to check out the other side now. Because, well, we're here. Might as well. Oh, there's a bit more gold over there. A bit more Aesir's gold. There. there we go. I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagoth. A great boy. There were no realms yet. Only primordial forces. There was fire and there was ice. And there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Emir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. From Emir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All-Father as if he was the creator and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. Okay, it Mimir? really sounds like huh? Mimir is really oh. personal there. Sorry, my boy. Uh, you know, I think at best we just end it there, actually. Okay, then. Let's pick this up. Another upgrade for us. A permanent stat boost. It's a tier of luck. Increasing luck by two permanently. Great, thank wow. you for that. There's two of them, and they're huge. I wonder why they aren't moving. Wait, what are they we can beach over here. talking about? Yeah, so we're going to beach over here. And then we're going to see what we can do about that. Dropping off. And let's see, are there any enemies here? Probably a stupid question, but I just want to open that up. Yeah, chest for me. Then, we have that thing over there. It's probably in a, yeah, a repeated explosive one. So we need to drop it down to let it reach the chest. This looks like we're going to get ambushed in a second, but yeah. Yeah. Is he frozen? There we go. I can really easily take out lone enemies like that. A bit more hack silver and whatever is in here. Kind of felt like that was going to be a trap. Um, 
So we need to be able to rotate this one, but I think we'll be able to do that upstairs. But we can't access that the way we did before. But it seems like we have a chain to get us up there again. So now we have one chest up there and then one chest down there. And I think we already have two. Oh no. Hmm. I'm going to have to check this out a bit because I don't know what to do right now. Oh god. I think I got ambushed now. So a revenant again. Easily taken. Easily taken care of. Oh, there's another one. Something spawned. So there we go. There goes the revenant. But the tassel worms might be a problem. There we go. Let's get one up. There we go. Electric arrows in the face. And then juggle. Okay. So for some reason they added a bit more... A few more enemies over here. I wonder why. Because... There wasn't anything left here, if I recall correctly. Of course, there's a bit of loot from the uh, the Revenant. And World Serpent scales for some reason. Probably also loot from the Revenant. But... Let's take a good look around. So there's one down there. Yeah, okay, so that's... Oh, so that automatically makes the wheel go around. And then there's another one... Over there. There we go. And that makes that rotate around. Which might be a problem or might not be a problem. So let's take this one first. There we go. Chest one opened. Numero uno. And that gets us another deadly grip of fury. Successful axe kills grant a rage burst. I'm actually really happy with my shock pommel right now. Pristine dust of the realm, mystic dust that pulses with mysterious forces, used to upgrade powerful armor found only at Stone Falls. Huh. Which makes me wonder what we can actually upgrade with that. And there we have the second chest. Open and shut. And that gets us hack silver usually, but yeah, and solid Svartalfheim steel. Inscribed sign of menace. And the World Serpent Scale. We're gathering a lot of materials in this episode. I might want to pay a visit to Sindri or Brock in a second as well. And there we go. We opened that up as well. But I don't actually know what this is supposed to do. Oh. Um. Oh, look at that. There's a... There's a... There's an electric pulse thingy on top of there. And that opened up that chest as well so now we need to drop this down one level there we go so now we can open this up loot loot for everyone more salt Svartalfheim steel and another inscribed crest not chest crest of shadows and then this one Opening up as well, and it gets us a Frost Sigil of Runic. Increases resistance of frost attacks. Ooh, that's also very nice. So that's our third elemental defense enchantment, which is really, really cool. So that seems to be it for this island, so I'm gonna head back. And uh, I think I'm gonna pay a visit to the bridge uh, in a second, so we're uh, upgraded all the way before we end the episode. So see you guys in a second. Can you tell me about that giant lady with the bow? She was called Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. Her father was Thiotzi, who could take the shape of any wild creature and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride, believing she would bear him strong sons. 
that she spurned his affections. And for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. It was put forth that the Aesir were plagued by an eagle who would steal the precious golden apples of Idun. Not even the finest archer among the gods could bring it down. Odin knew that Skadi could not resist the temptation to prove herself superior, and so she joined the hunt. Skadi tracked the eagle as it flew where she alone could glide, and loosed an arrow from her unerring bow. When she collected her quarry, she found no eagle at all. But her own father, poor Theotzi, slain by his own daughter. She was overcome with grief and shame, for there is nothing nature so reviles as a child who kills their parent. Skadi succumbed to her fate as winter's blanket fell, holding her father as the mountain held her in an embrace to last eternity. Holy that crap. Was sad. Yeah, that was Aye. really sad. There aren't many happy endings for the giants, I'm afraid. And, I mean, Odin is a horny bugger. He wanted to have everybody as his wife. Because we have um, Skadi. His Thor's wife was also... Or is that the same giant we're talking about? Skadi must be... Could be Thor's mother then. And then, of course, Freya, but... Hmm. All right, let's head in and uh, let's have a little chat with Brock. Hi, Brock. Oh, we found a few things. Got another Ooh. favor to ask you. Jim. Ooh, favor. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand, anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag-scrapped and slack-jawed? Well, we'll take a look at your inventory. We also have a few uh, new things we found, but uh, we'll see that in a second. Pull the rain off hand at the Velander mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? So I only upgra upgraded my talisman because it wasn't actually that much of interest in his inventory. He didn't also mention anything about the traveler's armor set we found but uh we'll have to wait until later then i suppose so i'm gonna take a little break thank you guys enormously for watching and when we get back we'll continue our uh, tour along the lake of nine once more so thank you guys enormously for watching and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye